what David uh, always says, uh, not a lot happened this episode. So. <laughs> mm, yes, yes. Which Shinzo, like his ability is, is uh, it, it just becomes like like a. Well, actually, no, I, I should have brought this up to you, David, because there's a lot of like team fighting, a lot of uh, team yeah, fighting strats. Yeah, there was actually a lot of team fighting that happened during this episode. So, but I'm it's done well. I'm, I'm, I'm glad at that. Yeah. I gotta say, I'm not very like impressed with uh, Shinzo, to be honest. Taylor, yeah. I, was, I was I was expecting more of a reaction from you, <laughs> like the slow pan, like it basically is just like something insanely shocking. I can, was just I can see the internal, you know, look on Taylor's face of like, you shut your damn mouth, too. <laughs> like, don't make me come over there. <laughs> Let's be fair. He got saved. He got carried. All right. Shinzo was awesome what exactly support. did not live up to your expectations, Ku? Is it the fact that he already <laughs> admitted that he was way behind and he was in class C and didn't have the opportunities to have the same experience as everybody else? Because Yo, he did I acknowledge that more. to begin with. <laughs> Regardless, I was expecting more. I thought maybe he was being modest. You know, I was like, hey, guys, you know, I'm not that strong. So don't mind no, me. No, he's, a, he's then, an honest, then, upstanding bam. person. <laughs> you get uh -huh. what you see uh -huh. is what you All get. Right. <laughs> when you've been secretly training with like Eraserhead, you know I'm expecting some some epic shit to happen, you know. But okay. uh, yeah, he grabbed I'm... he grabbed a pipe and it broke and put it on that dude's head. That's that's pretty impressive, dude. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's basically taking sure. communications away from them too, just because knowing that he could be copying their voice, like they like they like they didn't, nobody knows what to do. And even like when their own team is talking to him, they don't they can't respond or trust anything because they don't know if like, he's the one that's saying it. I mean, even uh, that, right? With with the with the highlight of them in the in the opening, and then with him, I mean, we still haven't seen how he's going to fare against Class A. So I'm sure that with the experience that he has with this fight, it's going to carry over, and he's going to actually do more to stand out. But I don't know. I, I guess I was just expecting more from from the character. In do a sense. more to stand out. You have Frappy, who has a long tongue and can like and and has some poisonous stuff. You've got a guy who has a laser coming out of his belly button. You've got <laughs> like you, you, these are people. You got like, Mr. Mr. Grapehead. And they don't stand <laughs> out. Oh my god! Either. You have Uraraka, who can be useful, but like, just I'm just saying, like, there's a lot of like abilities here that you kind of have to figure out how to make them yeah. useful, depending on the battle. Mm -hmm. Whereas like, I feel like Shinsoul's is a lot more like ubiquitous across all battles. Like you could use it in a lot of different situations. So I feel that's like true. that makes them strong. Yeah, yeah, but like the, a lot of people's other like niche kind of abilities, it's more like the emphasis on like the team, like the like the team fighting then. Where like they have like they're like they have to they're only more effective I guess like in the the the, the correct team. Mm -hmm. It's because uh, you know if you just throw out, like if you throw out just like Shinzo or like the or um God, who else was just like a really kind of generic character I'm trying to think of um or uh, you know like, obviously like, like Minato is like the easy one to go to. We have the, thinking, the, in, like the invisible, rush. the invisible girl too. Oh, yeah, that's true. Like, <laughs> her too. Oh, they get me started on how useless she is. All right, you, just, think, you really think invisible girls useless? I mean, you got a girl that's literally naked. I mean, you know, she's there for boots. like espionage and sneaking, and get which that, is good. She's. I, I feel like she's also kind of there in a weird sense for like some weird like fan service type thing. <laughs> yeah, I feel like she's there for like a comedic effect. I think that's it. <laughs> That, that's basically like, right? It's just like, oh, of course, it's probably. And then, I, you know, for the reader, it's like, oh, he's probably kind of cute. Because <laughs> you never, you know, we never know what she looks like. So uh. I was I was thinking about this during the episode. I was actually thinking about the fact that I kind of like the fact that every like I feel like nobody's abilities really make them like so much better than everybody else. Like you've got like Bakugo, Kishima uh deku and you know that like that group they've got like the really flashy like power but that's not always what you need like for mm -hmm. for many missions and i feel like really they like this this emphasis on teamwork is really necessary and i think it's just um i, I personally like it a lot more than like the what, what do you guys call them like the power fantasy type of people who are just super like the top two people that are powered like the two oh, people the, that are like on the top creep. that basically just challenge each other and ever like mm -hmm. nobody else yeah, can even power compare, yeah Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Sure. i like the fact that they're a little bit all more balanced yeah. i mean i would prefer you, this too you move away from the the holy trinity of deku bakugo and Todoroki, uh, which and is the Todoroki. next movie by exactly. the way <laughs> well that's what yeah all the movies seem to you know always come back to that holy trinity of like okay cool yeah. we'll show everybody else that's they'll exact, have their little moments I mean, of like exactly hey mentioned. i'm here i can do stuff that's what yeah, I, mentioned the the day, yeah <laughs> I, I want to go outside that trinity 
Well, I feel like that's also tough with a lot of shonens where it's like, you know, they're admittedly the most popular characters because one, they're they're overpowered at the end of the day. And again, you're always going to write towards the characters that the fan base resonates with. I personally feel like like it's the easy thing for these writers mm-hmm. to do. Yeah. I do so. think it's kind of a shame, though, that he has thrown in so many like characters that could be interesting. Because, you know, everybody's talking Definitely. right now about how Jujutsu Kaisen has all these strong female characters and that like exist for their own goals and have their own ambitions. They're not tied to the male characters at all, blah, 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 blah. And that's super true. And I feel like Hero Academy is like so set up to be able to do that exact same thing. Like they've got a group of female characters that have interesting abilities. There's like they started to give Uraraka a background and then they were like, never mind. In fact, there's like there's yeah. like way less female characters in the class than the male characters though. There is. Like, there is. It's like, yeah. it's, like, it's See, only well, so. male in that class. But but there is enough for, like Haley said, for them to stand out and be their own, right? Yeah. Uh, well, and it is the thing, too, where I think they've tried to have, like, the actual adult hero world for the female characters try to shine. You know, last season, I think we got to see more I mean, of that. Like, I know Mountain Lady is a complete meme of a character, so we won't include her. <laughs> um, but I feel like... Um, I love Mountain Lady. Oof. The... The dragon, the dragon character lady, yeah. lady is, has a little bit more empowerment to her, and then midnight is, then have, is a great, a great character. But they're not interesting, but you know. Yeah, we don't yeah. know their motivations and or we, any. They, they're, they're just strong. Like they're yeah, not. The other one we don't really. know much yet is the one, uh, bunny, the waifu bunny. Girl, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, well, I'm making that point. Hey, <laughs> so. I was gonna say, going back to Taylor's point, it just feels like still like in my academia. It just feels it's still like uh, Deku's story, just. Feels like everything's just revolving yeah. on him. Seems like everyone else just wants to be a hero because, just because it's Deku's well, story. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, literally yeah, Deku's literally, story. Yeah, it's, so, so, like, so that point of all trying to make like the, the female character shine, it's like just feels like it's just Deku's story. So where where they shine? Yeah. yeah. Dude, well, and hey, I think it's fine. Parts. I think it'd be fine if it was just Deku's story, but like they have gone out of their way to introduce so many other characters. Mm-hmm. Can you yeah. really call it Deku's story? Like. A lot of times, I forget well, um, Deku exists. Yeah, like the, the pillar or the foundation is Deku's story, but I agree to your yeah. point. The, the series that really shine are those that can build off that foundation so that they can also stand alone on their own. And that, like, yes, everything is probably going to head back towards that main foundation at the end of the day because that's what all shonens do, mm-hmm. you know, of this one in main character's yeah. main story. But I, I totally agree. I was, like, you know, series I like guess... One Piece and other shows, like, they truly make their side characters shine. I guess I was looking at overall. Yeah, I guess I didn't think too much about yeah. everything that's happened so far. Well, mm-hmm. in the the first episode of Hero Academia, I mean, you have Deku like narrating and says like, "This is my story of how he became the greatest hero." And so. It's not even the first episode of this entire. It's literally like every the opening of every episode. episode. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess this kid just goes guess, off uh... and, like monologues about this is how how yeah. I <laughs> became the best hero in the literal <laughs> world. So it's rather like, than, than analyzing the entire series, <laughs> getting back towards the focus of this season, how do you guys feel about, you know, this season potentially being a season that is purely going to be centered around team fights for a majority well, that's of what the I want. episodes? Yeah, that's, yeah. No. that's what I've been wanting for a while. I, I would prefer that. Yeah, I, I, I'll outside, prefer the whole, like, outside the Trinity, like we keep saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's also taking a break out of uh, like, just kind of showing us like where all the characters are, like what, what they all learned, what they all trained. So then, then they can move on to the next, like uh, the the um, was it the League of Villains arc? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they're just right. kind of catching mm-hmm. us up with everybody, plus introducing a new uh, main character into the the roster with Shinzo. Like, like again, like I just, I just don't really care much about the school stuff. Like, I just want to go to League of Villains just because it's the only like big thing that can happen. But it sucks though. It's like it's so underwhelming at this point. So, but so we, you want like a time skip. Photo, so. You want a time skip in a sense. I mean, <laughs> like, I know, I know, like, they're trying to, to flush out everyone's powers with this, with this class A versus class B, but I don't know. Like, I guess we'll see if it pays like, off. I just want more, yeah. more, more story to follow. I mean, I'm all for developing each character and supporting cast and give them their own background story. And you know, if you like someone, then yeah, you know, it's cool and all, but. When you're when you're restricted to this and you're not really like a long running anime like say like Bleach or Naruto or whatever, it, it's kind of hard to uh, to like this format because you know you're just like oh shit you only got twenty episodes left like like how are you gonna solve this what do I have to wait for like how's it gonna play out well, stuff I mean, of that nature. To be fair though, like season five seasons is a lot of 
of uh of episodes. So I like I can right, long but then the now. pacing that it's currently going in, I don't think it really even with like five seasons, I feel like that's holding it back. Well, the thing is, you can cover like multiple people's backstories briefly, like of what the training they've done. Right. Like really all we needed for like for uh, for Shinzo was basically like we, we already kind of told like knew just with his wrappings. It's uh -huh. a little brief history, just like how like his training he's been doing with Aizawa, and then just move on to the next thing. But uh -huh. then, uh, but if they do like do an episode uh, or like one battle every episode, then it's gonna be like a you know it's, it's gonna be rough, right? right? Yeah, because like, there's, really there's, there's 10 different teams. So yeah. are you going to do this for but, 10 different teams? Or? But at the same time, though, here at Academia, I'm not really worried about time constraints because it seems like this show will be animated. <laughs> like, I, I feel like you don't just animate no, a show for five uh, I, seasons. I like it, I, good. No, I agree with Kuba about the pacing. It's just like, like that's why I say, like, I just, I'm like, I, I don't care about the school stuff. So I just want to get yeah. this over with. Yeah, by school, school stuff, do you mean like the battles that they're doing? Like, yeah, or the like, training, like, like, or the like, right, right, right now, like the, the, but I was in class A and class B. It just like it just doesn't excite me about my academia. So yeah, besides the I mean, school festival, but yeah, school I mean, festival is lame. I mean, I mean, uh, the <laughs> tournament, the train, the tr tournament thing, whatever that one season that was exciting. Oh, but, yeah. oh, got but like you here, mean, how did you like, feel about like the the license arc from previous? seasons was that you, you know they were they were getting their heroes license no that's when they yeah, were fighting right. against like gang orca and then the other oh, schools right. were competing in the well i honestly like i'm fine with them that, taking that, that like no that i like that part because that was yeah. well i guess that's about... different because you're getting more characters from these different it was schools. It was explaining more about the and hero it helps, society it progress the story too right yeah it was explaining yeah. more about the lore about the hero society and how like actual like adult heroes like work and how they function so i like seeing that but point so... of view I guess, like in this instance, if it just focuses on the students of um, the Hero Academy, and you know it's focusing on their power developments, like is that still something you find value in, or are you saying that like if it just is focusing on the Hero Academy, like consistently, then you're you're it's not like, as like hyped. For this that. specific for format, I feel like we've we've seen it before already, of like everyone like using their powers. So I just it doesn't feel yeah. like it's anything new. It just feels like we just keep going back to. It feels like almost filler. Like we 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 already know like their powers, and I guess maybe not not the team fighting part, but it's like I'm just I'm more anxious. I like I want some more more like more a story to follow, basically. Wait, what what was the time oh, skip um before like the the uh, like from like the last thing like because I I know like they've been like training and uh up to this point so I, and I, and it, it sounds like just about every single one of them probably have some sort of like new ability. Or, or some sort of ability we haven't seen yet. Well, I mean, they're still uh, first years, aren't they? So, yeah, I don't like, think yeah. the time skip yeah, was that time big. Skip. Yeah, I don't yeah. even okay. think there... There might not like, have even been one. It might have just been very minor. It's just yeah. winter now, in a sense. Seasons have changed. So okay. they have new outfits, in a sense, but... Oh, yeah. right, right, yeah. yeah. I know that they've they've uh, kind of uh, skipped time, like, you know, here and there, like, when they're like, when when Deku was learning his, like, his air flicking stuff. Mm -hmm. And then you had, like... Uh, when they were going through like all that training, and then he also when Deku was learning his kicks as well, because uh -huh. mm -hmm. they've had like all those parts as, um, but but then again, like all we've really seen is, is of Deku and uh, the, the the normal characters, right? Yeah, and then and then, I know, and then like all in all, though, I think we might just be over analyzing it. Like the reason why this particular team fight took two episodes is because it did have uh, Shinzo into it, so you kind of have to like highlight his fights to see how he's progressed. And since he's going to be what well, seems to be like a, a key character for uh, the future plot, I guess that's why it's being fleshed out the way it is. Yeah, so, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna judge this season just by like these first couple episodes. So I'll just keep waiting. Like, yeah, normally I would just like just watch it, just not think much. Like, I don't. Hmm. I'll just like, just continue watching till the end. So I'll wait till like later to. Like, I mean, it, it doesn't really bother me as much as I think. Like, as it sounds, it's not like I'm saying it, it's just like it's. Just, I'm just getting this. Wayne just get his over with, so I don't have much. I think a lot word. of it is like pacing stuff. Like I just feel like Hero Academy is always, especially the anime, has always had just like some pacing issues. Like just yeah. at the point that you kind of like get into some interesting, like David, I know you love lore drops and stuff like that. Like just as you get some information, then it like backs off and we'll we'll have these types of team fight tactics type of things yeah. right and it's like i i like those a lot but i just feel like there's like a time and a place to 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 develop it and i 
when you're like reading the manga, you can kind of like skip through or you can get to what you want to get to. You can go through it at yeah. the pace that you want, yeah. but we're really constrained by the anime format right here. And I think that's yeah. a large part of the problem. Yeah. yeah. No. Previous no. seasons have, uh, um, previous seasons, I know that they've skipped some of the fights, but this one, it seems like, um, they're kind of going through every single fight. I mean, even like with the cover art of this season, you would, you would assume that this season is that this is the, this is what it's going to be. But, yeah, but, yeah. I mean, overall, it's like uh, it, I'm just my overall thoughts just eh. I'll just wait till like I yeah. get better. So I'm not yeah. too worried. I'm still interested. Yeah. I mean, I'm not hating it. I think to their yeah. credit, their their best thing to do would be to you know mix in different kind of focuses because I I agree if you know if we're just gonna go back to back to back to back like fights in this tournament then yeah i could definitely see yeah. it get i think like yeah. if, if we see grueling and, and you know slow for viewers especially for a first time view and to taylor's point you know you don't have the benefit of a manga where you can just be like all right you know flip mm -hmm. on through especially if you're not caught up to the current latest mm -hmm. chapter mm -hmm. yeah so I, uh, so i think for next week like i'm probably just not gonna say much i don't think i'm gonna have much yeah. ad for next week and, if, and again it's format. a shonen and to sren's point they're probably going to animate everything they've done five seasons already there's no reason why they're not just going to continue it so shonen's progress slowly it's just yeah. the nature of the beast yeah but like, like how you guys mentioned like just kind of throwing us the of what the villains plans are even or what or what they're doing during this i think would be would be more just at least kind of show us like what else is going on besides this yeah i mean hopefully we get to see more of our well never mind okay yeah, never mind. <laughs> I mean, I, I want to see what happens with uh, with Hawks, right? Like what he's doing as of right now as well, because they kind of opened up the the season with that. Totally forgot about so, him until Kuma mentioned yeah, it just Yeah, now. right. Like, like you got this guy who's supposedly the, the second most popular hero, uh, but he's he think he's like a double agent, but it's really because you know, like the corporation that kind of like controls him in a sense. Uh, they're telling him to go do it, so it's not because of like. Uh, uh, because of what he wants to do either. And then, like, it cuts down to, like, Deku's story. Like, oh, okay. Uh, you're going to have a dream about the the originator of um, One for All. And then, mm -hmm. yeah. So, yep. it's... I kind of wish they would do things like that, where, okay, you want to have, like, a team battle to flesh out the, like, the, the school or the kids, but then, you know, try to throw in some things from, like, uh, like Hawks and the other, like to to progress the story in a sense. Right, definitely. But, yeah. Brian, Brian, any uh, kind of closing thoughts on what's up? Um, uh, no, not really. Okay. Everything was pretty much talked about. So. <laughs> okay. I think I'm gonna be Brian like, next um, week too. So it's it's yeah, it's just gonna be it's just gonna be a long season for for people that just. I don't think Why, I don't like, think this part's gonna last too long. Yeah, because but... because uh -huh. like historically, I think out of all the seasons, the villain arcs have done some of the best. Sort of minus sort of um, what's his face overall overhaul. But he's not like legal villain though, so yeah, he wasn't. I mean, he's still a villain. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's still a villain, villain, but yeah, like for people that just like really enjoy the the villain arcs like this arc's gonna be a long fucking season for them because they ain't true. getting <laughs> shit yeah. So, yeah. yeah yeah it's just gonna be a long like oh, is this scheduled for 24 episodes yeah yeah uh, they usually are yeah. the usual yeah. It's yeah it's probably gonna be a long 24 episodes yeah. like maybe yeah. you might get 25 like, four four episodes maybe five that like have to do with anything with like hawks endeavor and like the league of villains but other than that it's just yeah i would enjoy if enjoy anything... the the fruits of their training <laughs> pretty much yeah enjoy the the animation of the fights and everything because you yeah, to brian's point with it being 24 and 25. not spoiling or 25 yeah I could very well see we're probably going to get a mix of things till like episode 12. And then when we have the, the halfway mark, that's when it's going to be more of a hard shift potentially. And that's not going into spoilers yep, or anything, but just if I had to go off what we've seen in previous seasons, it always kind of seems to fit that format of like, yep. all right, we have the first 12, then all right, cut. And then now we either have like a one filler and then on to the next big thing. Right. Yeah. But, uh, you, hopefully they, though? they are, go ahead. Can you imagine though they do like they do that, and then the next arc is like a weak villain arc, like the gentle criminal again? I, swear to God. <laughs> I mean, it happens, man, and it's one of those things that. Oh God. Um, you know, I can gladly say that 
shouldn't happen in this case but there are definitely <laughs> shows yeah that i can look back on and be like man if i didn't read the manga or i didn't know this and then i was literally sitting there and had to you know build up for this hype and then it all just fell flat like i can think of that specifically actually with like bleach when bleach first aired and they had this arc called the bount arc which is about like these vampire users i thought that was a real arc and then i learned after the fact that shit was all filler <laughs> <laughs> dude that was exactly for me too because i was like um, what the what the fuck <laughs> yeah that was same for me i because i i was um i was was it just a binging uh bleach at that point and I, I didn't even really like know what filler was and then i until i found out like later that it did that actually didn't happen yeah i mean it's like the same thing with naruto imagine watching naruto the first time and then you hit that heavy filler well at least naruto's a little more blatant about their filler <laughs> but it's just like oh man like it's rough yeah. it happens like, to Bleach the best tried to make it a canon yeah that's yeah. the one time when i don't know if there's yeah right. switching to the <laughs> manga and there's a lot of content that's the only time it works out yeah so we're uh we're yeah. gonna leave it there for filler so